Welcome to Real Estate in the 757. Have you been thinking about the Red Mill area of Virginia Beach, wondering if possibly it could be a good fit for you and your family? Well, if so, stick around because Amy Dahl will be driving us through five highly sought after neighborhoods of the Red Mill area. This is definitely an episode that you don't want to miss. All right, so Sherwood Lakes. We're in Sherwood Lakes, Southern Virginia Beach beautiful neighborhood consisting of single family homes and townhomes. When you first come in the neighborhood, there's a huge lake with walking trails around the lake. Uh, there's a park not far from the lake and it's a beautiful open area. The homes at the front of the neighborhood are single family homes. They're all custom built. They range anywhere from the high 400s, low 500s, all the way up to the 600s for the stuff that's close for the homes that are closest to the lake. As you get deeper into the neighborhood, there are townhouse style condos. There's a couple rows of those homes. They are large uh, townhouses. Some of them are 22, 2300 square feet with three and four bedrooms. They have attached two car garages and some of them even have finished rooms over the garage. All right, so the pros of this neighborhood. You have beautiful outdoor living spaces, uh, lots of green area in the neighborhood. The houses are closer together, but there's um, lots of free space in between the two homes. So the way this neighborhood is structured is you have two streets of homes that face each other with an open area in between. You can't drive down that open area. Uh, you have to walk down that open area. And what that means is that people can't drive up to the front of your house. They have to park on this main road coming through or they have to drive down the road that's kind of like an alleyway uh, between the garages. So every other road is an alley and those are the garage roads uh, where everybody's garage faces the alley. When um, you move in pe here, people, some people love it. Some people love the fact that you have these big open green spaces off the front porches and their kids can play and they're protected from cars and they really get to know their neighbors. And then other people don't love it. They really wanna be able to pull up in the front of their house and walk right up to the front door and they don't wanna to have to pull to the back of their house. So it really doesn't appeal to everyone, but people that live here absolutely love it. So the thing about this neighborhood, and one of the other things to note is that the, the yards aren't huge. So you'll get to know your neighbors really well, um, but you won't necessarily have big backyards. There's so much open space and green space in front of the homes that the focus isn't really on your backyard. Some of the end units do have large yards and they're, they're large enough for a detached garage or a pool. You'd have to obviously get homeowner association approval, but the interior uh, units on the streets probably aren't gonna have that large of a backyard. Even the townhomes, however, in this neighborhood do have small footprint backyards, so you get a little bit of grass uh, over in the townhome area as well. So now we're driving through Asheville Park uh, in Southern Virginia Beach. Beautiful neighborhood, relatively new. Uh, up until a couple of years ago, they were still building in here. The, and actually I think they still are. The neighborhood's divided into two sections, the left side and the right side as you're driving in. The left side's more expensive and bigger homes than the right side. Um, on the left side, you have custom builders like Larry Hill, Stephen Alexander. Uh, you have large custom homes. Some of these are 4,000, 5,000 square feet. Uh, and they range anywhere from the $600,000 price tag on up uh, into well into the eights and nines. There are some beautiful homes here. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous homes. There are two things to note about Asheville Park though. One is that you cannot have a privacy fence. So if you have a big dog and you're looking for a wooden privacy fence, uh, this is probably not the neighborhood for you. You are required to have the black decorative wrought iron fences if you're gonna put a fence up. The second thing about Asheville Park that people don't realize is that you are required to purchase uh, Cox Cable and do a monthly subscription with Cox Cable. It runs you about $100 a month and that's a basic package and you can upgrade it from there, but you can't negotiate it down and you're gonna pay for it even if you don't use Cox Cable, if you decide you wanna use Verizon for your internet service provider or a different service provider. Uh, so there are a lot of people that don't like to you know, be obligated uh, while they're paying their mortgage payment to also have to pay Cox Cable. So pros and cons, but um, a beautiful neighborhood nonetheless. So one of the other great things about Asheville Park is that there is a beautiful clubhouse here. They've got an in-ground pool for the kids to play. They've got parks and they even have picnic tables so you can come bring your lunch out here. So it's a great place for families. So this is Rainier Village. This is the right side of Asheville Park when you come in. Uh, they still have model homes open here, so they're still building over here. These range in the 400,000s on up. 
Uh, they're a little bit closer together, a little smaller than when you go over to the left side of Asheville Park, uh, but they are equally as beautiful. There's still parks over here. You can see right behind me, there's a nice park. Lots of kids, a very family-friendly neighborhood. So now we're in Munden Farms in Virginia Beach. This is a newer neighborhood built by Ryan Holmes. There's a lot of different floor plans and models in here and they were all custom built, but Ryan Holmes was the builder when this was being built. There are no neighborhood amenities in here, so there's no pools or tennis courts or anything like that. Uh, the neighborhood does require you to have a black wrought iron fence in keeping with the aesthetics of the neighborhood, uh, but it is a gorgeous neighborhood and there's some really beautiful homes in here. You're close to shopping and close to restaurants and the homes in this neighborhood range anywhere around 600,000 on up. So now we're in Heritage Park, one of my favorite neighborhoods in Virginia Beach. This is a custom built neighborhood, several different local custom builders built here. It forms one giant circle. It's really quiet and peaceful back here. You'll see they left a lot of trees in the neighborhood. The uh, homes are mostly all brick and were built, uh, they range in probably the $600,000 price tag, some maybe high fives uh, on up. They're gorgeous homes and um, and lots of sidewalks, lots of places to walk with your dog and push a stroller in this neighborhood and a lot of families as well. So at the front of the neighborhood here in Heritage Park, there is the Equikids facility. So Equikids is a local nonprofit. They are dedicated to equine therapy services for special needs individuals. And uh, it's a state-of-the-art facility that was built in 2009 and the land was actually gifted to them by a local developer. It's amazing. It's an amazing run organization. So a few years after opening, they expanded their services to include Equibets. So instead of just focusing on children, they focused on our military. And since we're such a huge military population here, they focus on providing therapy services uh, through horsemanship skills and therapy riding lessons for uh, wounded warriors and veterans returning home from overseas. So an amazing cause, uh, an amazing organization. It's something we're really proud of here in Virginia Beach. So now we're in Lagomar. I like to call this old Lagomar because there is an older section and a newer section. Unlike some of the other neighborhoods in Red Mill, uh, Lagomar is, it was built in the 70s and 80s. It's not new construction and it has huge established trees. It's a beautiful, quiet, peaceful feeling as you drive through Lagomar. Every house is different. Lots of different builders, lots of different years that they were built. There's some big lots in here and then there's some odd lots in here. Uh, it is not uncommon to find some dated homes in here that still look like 1980s and 70s, but when they've been upgraded, these homes sell like hotcakes. Um, it's a common spot for bikers to ride through this neighborhood, so it's not uncommon on a Saturday afternoon to see a row of 20 or 30 bikers from the local bike shop on their bikes taking a Saturday ride through the neighborhood. You'll see a lot of that. Um, very popular neighborhood, one of my favorites in Virginia Beach. Uh, every home is different. Uh, no two homes are alike. There are properties in Old Lagomar that back to the water, and there are others that just have big treed uh, shaded lots. So a fun place to drive through, definitely a fun place to look at. And if you can find a home in this neighborhood that's been upgraded, you definitely can't go wrong. So some of the great things about living in the Red Mill area are there's a lot to do outside. There's a couple of local golf courses here. There's plenty of great shopping. There's local restaurants. There's local gift shops. Uh, there are parks. There are trails. There are places to ride your bike. Um, there's a lot of different neighborhoods, a lot of different variety down here. You're gonna find that people are fairly outdoorsy. You're surrounded by great schools. So it's a really a highly desirable area to live. You're also really close to Oceana. So if you're working at the Naval Base there, um, it's a short commute. You're also a really short commute to Sandbridge and to Dam Neck. So if you're working on Dam Neck or you're looking to visit the beach there and your military, that's a great place to go. And then Sandbridge Beach is also a lot of fun. There's some great local restaurants down there and places that if you've got family coming to town and you want to rent a seasonal home, Sandbridge is a great place to be. So this is um, a popular area, very much an upcoming area in Virginia Beach in the last decade and, uh, and a fun place to be.